Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Mohammed Yusuf Said, English teacher. You might have seen my some of the videos where I talk in uh, mainly uh, Urdu language for the viewers, for the audience from Pakistan and the Indian background. But today in this video, I'm going to share some things just in English because now I'm on my way to start preparing some videos only in English language. But I have decided to speak slowly, easy vocabulary so that you can understand me. But if you think still there is something that I should change in my videos, please do tell me, uh, do share your comments uh, in the comments box or you can WhatsApp me, you can email me anytime, any day, right? So, I know you are interested to improve your English. You know English, you understand it. That's why I'm speaking English, all right? If you don't understand, there is no point speaking in English. When you start browsing and start looking uh, some videos, websites, uh, where you can find some English help or English teachers. You, you, that means you know some English. Otherwise, you might be just looking from your own country, uh, you know, someone from your own language, uh, you know, explaining about English. For example, if you don't know English, you're from Arab, and you don't know English, you might be interested to find a teacher who can explain to you uh, Arabic to English, you know, bilingually two languages, maybe he can talk and explain to you. But uh, it, it, like if you're from China, from Korea, from Taiwan, from any country of a world, you might be interested just, you know, someone who can explain to you in your uh, in your national language, in the language that you can understand. But once you know some English and you want to improve it further, you want to be expert, you want to be fluent, you don't want hesitation when you're talking, you start uh, looking, uh, you know, some English teachers from around the world who are giving you different tips, different techniques, sharing their knowledge about learning English language. So in this video, this is just the introductory video. So I'm going to introduce myself briefly in this video uh, and then share with you what are my intentions, what are my plans and programs uh, to help you in English uh, learning in uh, getting some knowledge, improving English, knowledge uh, uh, and, and the language together, <laughs> inshallah. So anyway, um, what I'm saying is, um, inshallah means uh, with, the, uh, with the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the hukm of Allah, with the order of Allah. So I'm mixing different words, don't worry, don't worry, it's just, uh, you know, uh, some vocabulary if you don't understand even a single word so I'll try to translate if I speak it uh, unintentionally so so anyway the now the thing is uh, so this is international video it's not just a focus I'm not focusing uh, you know audience viewers from uh, Urdu speaking background it's just for anyone who can understand some English this is the video for 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 them right so but of course anyone who understand who knows some English can can enjoy uh, you know uh, listening to it so uh, let me briefly introduce myself my name is Muhammad Yusuf Said I'm a qualified and experienced English language teacher um, uh, well, I'm settled and I live in the United Kingdom in London. Uh, the city is the London, uh, but the smaller place in London, you know, where I live is is Ilford, called Ilford area. If you if you are from Ilford, you know, you know, you might have seen me there. <laughs> anyway, um, and my qualification. Well, I have done masters in English language. 
uh, with the combination of linguistics and phonetics. And uh, I have done some teachers training courses as well uh, in advanced methodology of teaching. And uh, one of the courses is called TESOL, teaching English to the speaker of other languages. So I'm a TESOL qualified teacher. Uh, that gives me a qualification, certification as a qualified English language teacher or qualified ESL teacher, English as a second language teacher. And um, I have uh, been teaching English. Um, I started teaching English, you know, long ago when I was like, perhaps, uh, I don't remember exact year, but perhaps 1985, first time when I taught English in a school, in a private school, I went there and uh, because the, the school honored the principal needed one of uh, one teacher for English teacher and uh, he had a, sh a short of teachers in his school that time and he couldn't find so he offered me to come around and help him uh, you know in the classes uh, so that was back uh, uh, you know home in Pakistan when I was there and uh, 1984 I was also myself student I was uh, like I don't remember exactly what but I was like a college school, uh, student I had finished my high school then and uh, so that was my first experience of teaching English. I went to that school and um, I started teaching. And I was shocked, surprised. Uh, I could deliver what I wanted to in one, you know, like 50 minutes, 55 minutes. I don't exactly remember, but that was the, you know, uh, one f uh, period of that class, which I had to deliver a lesson. And I did it. I was so excited. I was successful. And I, ne I had never taught before. I had never, uh, you know, done any teacher's training. No induction, no training, nothing. Just jumped into the class and started teaching English. And I was so happy and so excited. And uh, that was a day when I realized I had some potentials of sharing, of imparting, of giving some knowledge to others. So Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me some kind of, you know, uh, qualities or potentials or blessings, whatever you can call it. No problem, right? But I, I thank to God, thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me such skills or potentials or whatever but gradually i improved polished my skills you know that was the first experience of my life of teaching english so i i'm sharing about my teaching experiences uh, uh this was the first and then i have been teaching from there uh you know different countries different cities places uh, uh I have been teaching English in Pakistan for many years, about seven, eight years in a university in Pakistan. And uh, I have been teaching uh, three, three, four, five, maybe different cities in Pakistan. And I uh, have been running my own Institute of Modern Languages as well for many years. Uh, the name of institute is Lord Modern Languages Institute. That's why I have the same name of uh, my channel, YouTube channel, Lord Institute. And uh, what else? So uh, I have also been teaching English in England, uh, in uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and for a little time, for a short time, in uh, you know uh, Iran or uh, and uh, uh, China. You know these places. Um, these are my teaching experience and what have I been teaching? That's the question. I have been teaching English language uh, uh, from elementary to advanced levels uh, students. My learner have been from different backgrounds, elementary, uh, intermediate, pre-intermediate, post-intermediate, advanced level and uh, I have been teaching business communication, functional English, ESP, English for specific purposes, 
EAP, English for Academic Purposes. I have been teaching GMAT, GRE, English of that, and TOEFL, IELTS, and uh, some other, uh, if I don't remember right now. <laughs> but I have been teaching, you know, English in specific English language, and my area, my skills in English language are mainly speaking skill. I have trained a lot of uh, students as well, and they have they have become English teacher now. They are teaching English language different places, even different countries, uh, you know. And um, so this is my brief introduction about my name and my qualification, my experiences and my hobbies now. I like visiting different countries. I like learning languages. I started learning Japanese language when I was myself, uh, English language learner. The same time, young college life, uh, was interested in languages and, and, and pan friendship. That was also my hobby. So I started learning a little bit Japanese, a little bit German. Uh, then I went into Nor uh, Norwegian and this, uh, you know, Romanian, uh, uh, then Arabic language. So these are different languages that I have been interested in. I couldn't find good teacher of French language, so I couldn't struggle for French language. I'm sorry, I was interested, but uh, somehow something happened. I, I couldn't. Uh, catch that language um, what else uh, uh, other uh, yeah I like traveling that's the that's also very important uh, a hobby of my life uh, I like visiting different countries different places I want to see different cultures and I like to taste different food from different countries uh, I have been uh, around 30 to 35, I don't remember exactly, but around 30, 35 countries of the world, uh, mainly like uh, Scandinavian country, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, uh, European, uh, you know, countries, Germany, Belgium, Holland, uh, uh, France, uh, uh, you know, other European countries and uh, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, China, Iran, uh, USA, uh, America, Albany, New York, <laughs> so uh, uh, many other countries. Uh, the, uh, so that's that's important in this video. Just so now I'll be uh, uh, preparing uh, English versions of different topics that I have already prepared in Urdu version for the audience viewers from Pakistan and India background but same audience and viewers if they want to listen to these videos they are most welcome so that is actually one way to improve English language as I have mentioned already in my videos listening is one of the ways to improve language so they can listen they should listen to these English versions as well to improve their uh, vocabulary, uh, sentences, language in general, right? Uh, so take good care of yourself. Wait for my next video, English version. I'll be explaining every basic important things to clear your concepts about English language learning, right? Take good care of yourself. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.